something strange in the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> something weird and it don't look good. Who you gonna call? Site Strategics! <laughs> You know what? You're going to actually call Site Strategics. You're going to do it on Monday. You're going to call us because you want to know where you're actually ranking on your social on your on your search engine optimization. You're going to you're going to want to want to have us help you on your on your web leads coming through your website. That's right. Help you on your social media. It's not scary. These aren't monsters. We can help you get through all this. Right? right? Who are you going to call? You're going to call Site Strategics. I know a ghost town. You know a ghost town. A ghost town. You know, I've heard that there's a ghost town out there. It's called Google Plus. (laughs) (laughs) I heard that it's a ghost town because a lot of people aren't using it, but I guess that's that's not the case. Whether they're using it or not, Google wants you to. Mm -hmm. So they're going to give some prizes to you. Uh, if you use it, you're, we're teaching you how, by the way, this is Edge of the Web Radio, uh, from Site Strategics. We're a local Indianapolis firm that focuses on search engine optimization, social media, um, website development, but more importantly, just getting successful websites out the door. Yep. And so if you're wondering about how I can r- increase my leads, increase my conversions and, and get, get those widgets selling on your, on your website, give us a shout. Uh, you can always reach us at 877 877- uh seven three six four nine three two. That's eight seven seven S E O for Web. This is Aaron Sparks with John Thompson. Say hello. Hello. Yeah. Hey, we're cashing in on the Google Dance. Uh, Google makes us dance on a regular basis. They they update on a regular basis, yep. and things kind of fall fall out whenever they do that. And what we're looking to do is going through the top six steps on how to cash in on the new SEO. Right? Mm-hmm. We just talked about the Google, the Penguin update that happened that uh, penalized some some websites because they had some garbage links out there. That's right. And we gave some great information on how to actually uh, update that information, uh, uh, have better links. Uh, optimized towards your website. Right. What's uh, what's our next? We got the Google profile. That's the ghost town, right? It's the ghost town. Some people think it's a ghost town. Accordingly, it's not. Uh, it's not true. If you measure the success of the Hangouts, they're mm-hmm. actually not doing too bad. Uh, so they want you to create a Google Plus profile, which we've told you before. It needs to be part of your social media assault. Mm-hmm. Uh, after that, you need to start thinking about your keywords because Google is going to pay attention to the keywords because that's what Google's all about. And there's some critical areas where you can showcase the keywords for your business in your Google Plus profile. Mm -hmm. And here they are. Introduction, employment, education, and places. So four places. And so you want to start talking about your keywords here. Mm -hmm. You want to start promoting what your services are and talking about them in a – not in a spammy way, but in a way that's educating your clients. Yep, absolutely. Create share, create shareable content for engagement. Just it's not enough just to have those words in your introduction. I mean, they're they are going to work into uh, they need to work into the content that you're providing, and 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 make enticing content that's shareable for others. Right? Mm-hmm. It may be a smaller sector compared to Facebook of activity. Yep. But Google's putting a lot of weight in that. We just talked about authorship of linking your profile to whatever you're writing on your own blog. Yep. There's a factor right there that can optimize things, right? Um, so what, what, is this because they they don't have anybody coming into their, their social media accounts? They're like, hey, now we're just going to force people to use it because then I'm, we just can't compete with Facebook. <laughs> Well, I mean, at the rate Facebook's going, it's going to have attrition rates anyway, and Google's going to be an alternative, you know? Uh, with the amount of ad, spammy ads that are starting to happen inside of Facebook, I mean, I think Google's just setting it setting it itself up for Facebook's fall. There. You know, it's right around the corner. It's MySpace. We talked a little bit about yeah. MySpace coming in. The revamp of MySpace. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Kind of looking Pinteresty. <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, the last strategy we talked about it was the Google Plus in Google Plus, sharing content. This is mm-hmm. going to be the bulk of your time for on Google, right? And since you probably don't have a ton of time to create original content, there are some great ways to find great content. Search trending circles in social media on your on, on for your content. Yeah. Uh, you know, look in 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 the different different spheres there, and and garner and then repurpose. Uh, you're not taking any. You're actually giving a little. The love to other right. contributors, and what you're doing is passing it through your funnel. On top of that, also engage with other people that are in circles on, on you know that are thought leaders that are inside Google Plus. 
Pay attention to who's talking. Look around and and start following them. Comment on what they're actually saying. Mm-hmm. It's it's funny how that works. If they, if you're actually paying attention to them and giving a little bit of props to them, they start pivoting around and following you. Right. You know. Yep. And it's 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 pretty important to be able to have that. Give me another cash in step there. So that was two. This is three. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are cashing in on. Google authorship. Mm-hmm. We talked a little bit about that. I think the main takeaway from that, because this is this is carried over from our our previous articles, is that keep in mind this is strategy getting worth getting into. Because once everyone is in, the competition is uh, it's got, it's going to be tough to get noticed. That's right. That, so. that really is true. Um, you know, another way to cash in on the Google dance here is cashing in on social signals. Okay, mm-hmm. so social social sharing is becoming one of the most prominent ways in which to, to determine the author the authority of a particular page. Right, that's mm-hmm. that's why that's why Google has made so many changes in its algorithm. They they want people to share, and if you're shared, that means and by real people, not bots or automated scripts. Right, it means that there's value in the content. No longer are links that point to your website the the biggest credible aspect you're having sharing and people actually interacting with your content Mm -hmm. that's what value is being ascribed to your own site uh, in large right that's right so you know you you need to have the tools to be able to have sharing on all your blog content on all your pages and and prompt people to share you know hey like like our story here if if you like what we're what we're telling talking Mm -hmm. about be sure to tweet about us you know I, we've gone through all these articles and a lot of them the same stuff. Mm-hmm. You get good content yep. and make it content where shareable so you get the likes and, and the links. And, and I guess why is it not being done? You know, is it, is it, it's just because it just takes too long, right? Yeah. And they, uh, companies in general have limited time. They got to focus on what they're doing and they, they, they honestly take their foot off the gas. Right. So they may actually set up things to, in, in the best way possible. They mm-hmm. may have actually hired a company to set them up in the best way possible. And then the company then has the keys to the car and content fails, social media fails, a lot of the stuff we just talked about in the previous segment. Right. Uh, that maybe management's not completely married or, or, or uh, supportive of all these different efforts. And if management's not looking at the content that's being written right. and it's getting put on the website – that's that's a problem in its own. You better believe that. Um, so, you know, yeah. another, another step to cash in on that we can't stress enough, right, is how to cash in on the new SEO. We're talking about cashing in on mobile. Yep. Okay. Mobile, and I was just talking to a, a client here just recently, one-third of all their traffic is coming in on mobile platforms. Did right. they know about it? No, they didn't. The interface, the, the, the entire presentation of a site is 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 skewed and and very very uh, sometimes disoriented mm-hmm. whenever a mobile device looks at your website. You right. need to have something that reacts to the platform that is being used. How do you know what your website looks like on mobile? I tell you what, there's a place to go that we you can actually see. Go to a website. Do do this right now. Stop everything. Go to this website, howtogomo.com. That's howtogomo.com. And you'll see uh, a, a neat hand holding a PDA. All right? A PDA. I just dated, dated myself there. <laughs> a smartphone. <laughs> Is that a Palm One, Aaron? <laughs> That's a trio. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you go to your mobile. Go to this website, please. And you can actually test out your website and see how it actually looks on not just one platform, a couple different platforms, That's right. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and this is made by Google. Right? That's right. Google's actually promoting this as, as a way to – it wants your site to be mobile. Mm-hmm. It wants your ads to be delivered on a mobile uh, mobile environment. And, and another thing, we actually read a story just recently that mobile traffic, uh, whenever people are searching for mobile, they'll see a website and they'll turn away completely from the website that's not formatted for my device I'm looking at. They'll actually go over to your competitors and they'll be more apt to actually suggest two other friends to do business with that competitor because, hey, this doesn't look good on a mobile device. Now, you right. talk about fans and consumers being in control of commerce. That is right there, spot on what we're talking about. So they're worried about the appearance more than they're worried about the service. Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, I didn't say that, but the data will actually prevail. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you. I saw the thing too. You know, um, go over to that's howtogomo.com. Test out your own website. See how it looks. And, you know, if you need some help, you can contact us mm-hmm. any day. Oh, well, contact us throughout the work, work week, 877-736-4932. Or 
877 SEO for web, right? Right. And, and, and in this article, it even talks about – it's easy if you have a WordPress. You could use a, what's called a WP Touch plugin mm-hmm. to put in. That's right. Um, it's not going to be as great looking as what we could create for your mobile site. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, this also touches on AdWords and how the little extensions on your ads are going to help big time. And yep. one of the ext- extensions is actually putting your phone number in there too. And as soon as they hit that phone phone number, it actually starts to call you. So right. it's just easy. You, you click, you say the word, and then hit the phone number. Boom. Boom. That's right. Another uh, another step to cash in here is cashing in on Panda's new web content rules. Mm-hmm. And the last but not the least update that we want to talk about is Panda. You know, mm-hmm. there is a bit, there has been a lot of ink spilled on this one, so I don't want to bore you with any of the details here. You can always look us up and look at the previous shows that we've talked about Panda updates, and we like I said, go to Site Strategics. Uh, you'll be able to you know, see everything that we've been doing here over there over the course of the last eight months. Now that's right. Um, there, there's even a link uh, that we're going to provide on edgeofthewebradio.com that actually has 23 questions that you should ask when when creating content. That's a list that's created by Google. Mm-hmm. Okay. An example is: Would you trust the information that is presented in this article? Right. Would you be comfortable giving your credit card information to the site that mm-hmm. you're actually uh, writing this article for? Right. Is this site recognized as an authority on the topic? Right. These are 23 questions that Google wrote. And so you better pay attention to them. Yeah, uh, that's all we got to say. Uh, we want to talk about a cool tool real quick. Uh, and 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 uh, back to that uh, six points of caching. And we're always bringing good information uh, about how to actually improve your 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 value to the search engine. So always check out our our, our feeds. Check out our iTunes. Check out a uh, YouTube blast. I mean, we've got yeah. a lot of information out there. Let's talk about a cool tool real quick. Tell me about this thing. This well, is this thing was referred to us from Tech Marketing Blog. Marketing Tech Blog. Mar- Marketing Tech Blog. Right. Sorry, our good friend Douglas Carr. That's right. And uh, it actually is a – what's it called? The GetLittleBird.com. Mm-hmm. And this GetLittleBird.com is actually a beta, beta service right now, but Fortune 500 companies are already using it. And it, That's got to be interesting. Yeah. It's, yep. And it's actually helping you find trends in Twitter. All mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It's a way for businesses of all sizes to discover true topical influencers online. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a private beta. It's, it's already used by these Fortune 500 companies. After a successful pilot, about two dozen enterprise customers, the, the product is actually available for a broader market. You can actually connect to top experts in a particular field, mm-hmm. uh, find real experts with any topic and connect to their community and content, measure and build an influence, right? And increase the influence of any user in relation to real leaders that are in the field. Right. Uh, master any topic fast. You can actually uh, build, quickly build expertise in a topic and amplify your own authority. Hmm. Um, and be the first to know. Catch important ideas and events so early that you can take action. And, all, and obviously be a thought leader if you see that coming at you. Yeah. You can retweet it, blog it, post it. Push it out the door, right? Yeah. This is Edge of the Web Radio, brought to, brought to you by Site Strategics. Do not be a piece of cyber driftwood. Contact us, contact us on a regular basis. We'll be happy to talk to you. We'll talk to you real soon. <laughs>